This is a very special episode because my hubby, Missa and I are moving to Sweden. This is crazy actually, I still can't get it into my head. We need to pack so much, you have no idea. I need to pack all my drawings, I need to clean the wall because, can you see, this is actually paint. Yeah. Welcome to my art vlog once again. Before the art part, I'm showing you a lot of me and my hubby moving to our new place. But then I will show you my new art corner that I am packing here and that I will also go shopping for in a real Swedish IKEA. You're probably curious why we're moving to Sweden. It's because we like Sweden. And because the city we are moving to is really close to the place where we are now. Because actually Denmark is Sweden, it's not that far away. There's only one bridge between Copenhagen and Malmö, the city we're going to. You can even uh, see it on the Google Maps. But it's still another country, the taxes are lower, everything is... A little different but pretty much the same and we just made this decision that our little Blankstrup family wants to live in Sweden. I am packing all my art supplies, all my pencils, books, um, brushes, everything. And if you wait for it, you can see that my cat Missa is inspecting the box to see if I remember it, everything. Honestly, I just can't wait to set up my new art corner and to get to know our new Swedish city. So the moving day is getting closer. I'm turning Swedish already, as you noticed. And I couldn't do anything with this acrylic paint, so I think I'll just leave it as it is, and and that's it. We already packed uh, most of the stuff, we just need to put everything into the van and just go, I guess. Hi, Misa. You're going to Sweden. You're going to Sweden with your keys. Misa doesn't quite understand what the fuzz is about, but look at him, he's cool as usual. So where are you going? We're going to Malmö! <laughs> <laughs> so, we are off to Sweden. Last time we were in Malmö, we were there as tourists and we didn't even consider that we would one day be living there. I am very excited to bring you guys on this journey that is my life and from now on I will be vlogging from my new home in Sweden, so let's go! As you can see, we're crossing a huge bridge, and this bridge is called Ösundsbron and connects Copenhagen to Malmö. I actually didn't film us arriving and unpacking, I was simply, you know, too tired. I mean, try to move from one country to another, it's kinda hard. But I did film our trip to IKEA the next day, where we went to pick up a couple of things for my new art studio corner. As you can see, I love going to IKEA and this trip to IKEA was so special because this is a real, authentic and believable and real Swedish IKEA, lol. Or 
I was looking for a new chair and shelves and a table for my new art studio corner in the new apartment. But to be honest, I wanted to buy everything I saw. Good, I had a husband with me who could stop me right on time. And by the way, everyone seems to be doing relatively well after um, all the you know what. And what kind of stuff does a cool artist need in IKEA? Well, other than the table and chair, I noticed that other artists always have a lot of plants and a cat. And of course they drink a lot of coffee, but I don't like that, so I am not investing in a new coffee machine, at least for now. And I need to underline that I really love cats. Misa, I love you. Roxy, I love you. Rosie, I love you. I don't know why, but all the modern artists, like YouTubers, just bloggers, like filling their art studios or just their desk with millions of plants but they always die at my home, so I found a solution for this. What are a them? A fake one! <laughs> Basically, IKEA is like a big warehouse labyrinth that you can get lost in while spending all your or your husband's money. At least they have a map so you can find your way out. But before you go, you need to eat a very Swedish dish in the IKEA cantina. I swear this is not a commercial. Oh, and by the way, I bought this cute white chair. I'm about to eat some Swedish food and I think the IKEA is the most Swedish place to eat it. I don't know what exactly I'm going to eat, but something Swedish. Should be left. Yeah. Mmm, this is Swedish meatballs. They're very tasty and when you're done eating, you can continue getting lost and spending money you don't have. Here we are at the exit where you can pick up the stuff you chose. And now it's time to go home and relax and start setting up the art corner. But first Jonathan is trying to get lazy with me. But is it okay if we go back and, back and get them some other time? No, because we're already here. The next days we decided to relax and go check out the city before diving into decorating the art studio corner and the entire apartment. From this vantage point we could see the bridge out on the bay. So uh, we have moved to Malmo, to Sweden finally. And I must say uh, all those days were really, really hectic because uh, we experienced a lot of problems with the apartment with the IKEA as well, so we were like literally in the mode of solving problems all the time. And today, after four days, we finally went out, and that feels actually pretty great. Malmo is home to around 350,000 people, and the culture is very open minded, both to people from other countries and to cultural minorities like the LGTB plus community. You can look that up if you don't know what that is. But basically, I'm sitting on a pride bench because the pride parade is a big thing when it takes place here in the summer. Oh, and by the way, check this weird Fanta. Look at what I found at the store. What the Fanta? It looks blue, you know, it looks really chemical, but I think we should try it out, you know? Let's try it. I'm really curious what they put inside because it doesn't taste like any fruit or vegetable or anything. <laughs> um, no, no from me. <laughs> so my plans for the next couple of days is to get rid of all the mess in the apartment, and make computers, both computers ready to uh, to work. 
uh, finish my uh, videos that are in the process but not ready yet and of course get back to like all of you guys because I'm sorry I probably was ignoring uh, some of you but really I literally didn't even have time to sleep I guess that's what's that's how it is when you're moving uh, to another country right so I hope you will forgive me other than that it's great I love this place, I love the new apartments, I love everything, I went to Ikea about a lot of things, even though I had to return some of them, <laughs> but other than that, it's great. By the way, a funny fact about me, Jonathan, and uh, this little city in Malmö where we moved to, uh, two years ago we visited the city just, you know, for fun, just because it's really close to Copenhagen and we wanted to, to like see how it is here and we got caught by a google car who was updating like the google maps you know so actually if you search this address this address you will see me and jonathan there isn't it funny well enough about that it's time to take a peek into my new art studio corner I actually don't know what to call it. Is it an art corner or an art studio? Either way, here I am in my new IKEA furniture. So this is it guys. This is my little art corner. So I put like a shelf with the books, books, art supplies, and there is a bottom shelf with also art supplies. What else can I have here, right? have my print of H.C. Anderson on the wall and I'm also thinking of putting some of my drawings on the wall as well but I'm thinking about it because I kind of like when it's clean too and minimalistic but I also like how it looked in my previous apartment with that like drawing wall so I might consider putting like a few drawings here and there what do you think by the way do you think I should or I shouldn't uh, and of course there's like a table here and I'm sitting sitting in front of the window because I need a lot of light coming. Um, so that's basically it. I think it's pretty cozy special with this fake superficial plants and lights. I love it. I love it. Uh, I guess this is where I will be um, filming drawing, uh, doing stuff. It's not ready yet, of course, but I will try to make it complete. Maybe it will happen by itself. Like, you know, um, I forgot the word. Naturally, naturally, it will happen naturally that I'm putting like some little things or just, you know, something like that. I also put some pictures here of my family and friends, so they would always be with me. So maybe you're curious to see that as well. And here it is. Misa, Hubby and I. This is my friend. These are my two cats. Rosie, unfortunately, passed away. These are also my friends. Uh, this is what can happen to my husband when we're in the argument. When we're having an argument. These are my also girlfriends. This is my husband and I in Berlin in Copenhagen, in Rome, in Aarhus. This is from my previous trip to uh, Sochi. You probably saw it in my vlog. So yeah, that's how it looks. I think it's pretty cozy with all this. And it's been two weeks since we uh, moved here. And I must say, I, uh, I like it. I like being here and I already found a job. Can you imagine that? And I already got invited uh, to a birthday party and that's actually pretty cool because I never thought I would like be already up and running this fast, you know, but I'm very happy about that. Uh, maybe I'll show some of you in the next vlog, so of course, if you want to uh, see that, but I hope you do. Anyways, uh, write me in the comments what you want to see and what you don't want to see. So to sum up, uh, I like my corner. Uh, anyways, this is the end of my uh, vlog. Thank you for watching. Uh, write me what you want to see in the future videos, future vlogs. And here I'm going to say goodbye. 
goodbye. See you in the next videos, guys. Bye. I forgot to show you who is also happy living here. It's Misa. Are you falling asleep? So cute, isn't he?